Ever pondered if everything we've been taught about the dawn of civilization might just be scratching the surface? Picture this. Archaeologists are unearthing clues that hint our story didn't kick off a mere 5,000 years ago. Instead, it seems we might need to wind the clock back, way back. These aren't just sporadic discoveries, there's a mounting pile of evidence now. Initially dismissed as oddities, these findings are now impossible to ignore, practically screaming that there's a deeper layer to our past waiting to be unearthed. Now, let's delve into the realm of Dolores Cannon, a name synonymous with delving into the vast, uncharted territories of our history and consciousness. Through her groundbreaking work in past life regression, Cannon has opened up a window to ancient civilizations and their wisdom in books like the Convoluted Universe series. It's like she's extending an invitation, beckoning us on a journey to explore not just the physical remnants of these ancient cultures, but their spiritual legacies as well. Just envision unraveling tales of civilizations that flourished long before those we read about in textbooks. What if the foundations of our modern world were laid down not just in the Tigris-Euphrates Valley, but across multiple cradles of civilization? From the intricate urban centers of the Indus Valley to the precise celestial alignments of ancient Mesoamerica, it's evident there's a continuity of knowledge spanning continents and ages. Isn't it fascinating to ponder how these ancient societies, with their advanced grasp of mathematics, architecture, and the cosmos, might have communicated and exchanged their wisdom. It's almost as if they were part of a global network, sharing ideas in a manner that challenges our perceptions of ancient isolation. Dolores Cannon's work urges us to contemplate these connections, prompting us to peer beyond the traditional narratives and question the true extent of our shared history. So who truly constructed the pyramids and what other marvels of ancient engineering lie in wait poised to enlighten us further about the capabilities and interconnectedness of our forebears. As we peel back the layers of time, we find ourselves on the brink of a new comprehension, one that Dolores Cannon and the archaeological anomalies implore us to explore. The mystery surrounding the pyramids, particularly those adorning Egypt's illustrious Giza Plateau, has fascinated scholars, archaeologists, and the public for centuries. Recent archaeological findings have shaken the foundation of the conventional belief that civilization's architectural prowess emerged a mere 5,000 years ago. These monuments, boasting a level of sophistication seemingly beyond their era, beckon us to question, how did ancient civilizations achieve such remarkable feats? Perhaps one of the most mesmerizing aspects of pyramid construction is the remarkable precision with which these ancient marvels were crafted. Take, for instance, the Great Pyramid, a timeless symbol of ancient ingenuity. Contrary to popular belief, the Great Pyramid, with its distinctive absence of a capstone, presents a construction enigma that continues to baffle modern technology. Historical accounts trace the construction of the pyramid back to approximately 2580 to 2560 BCE, during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu. This places the inception of the Great Pyramid squarely within the zenith of Egypt's Old Kingdom, an era renowned for its groundbreaking architectural achievements. In the 1980s and 1990s, scientific expeditions embarked on ambitious endeavors to replicate the pyramid's construction using modern machinery, including heavy-duty caterpillar tractors and forklifts. Despite these efforts, the colossal 20-ton limestone blocks integral to the pyramid structure proved impervious to manipulation. This led to a pioneering initiative spearheaded by the Caterpillar Company to engineer specialized equipment capable of handling such immense weights. However, despite initial enthusiasm, the project eventually ground to a halt, leaving the mystery of the pyramid's construction unsolved. As we delve deeper into the annals of history, it becomes increasingly evident that the enigma of the pyramids is not confined to the borders of Egypt alone. Across the globe, from the sun-kissed plains of Central America to the mist-shrouded peaks of Peru, ancient civilizations left behind a legacy of architectural wonders that defy explanation. Take, for instance, the magnificent city of Teotihuacan, nestled in the heart of present-day Mexico. Here, Towering pyramids and sprawling complexes bear testament to the ingenuity of the Teotihuacanos. 
a civilization that thrived over a millennium ago. The Pyramid of the Sun, the crown jewel of Teotihuacan's architectural splendor, stands as a silent sentinel, its origins shrouded in mystery and speculation. Similarly, in the verdant valleys of the Andes lies Machu Picchu, the legendary Incan citadel perched atop a rugged mountain ridge. Despite its remote location and intricate construction, Machu Picchu remained hidden from the outside world for centuries, a testament to the skill and secrecy of its builders. Yet, as awe-inspiring as these ancient monuments may be, they are but a fragment of a much larger tapestry of human achievement. Across continents and epochs, from the towering ziggurats of Mesopotamia to the colossal megaliths of Stonehenge, the remnants of ancient civilizations speak to a shared quest for knowledge, understanding and transcendence. But what if there's more to these ancient wonders than meets the eye? What if, hidden beneath the sands of time, lies a deeper truth waiting to be uncovered? It is here that the pioneering work of individuals like Dolores Cannon comes into play. Through her groundbreaking research in past life regression, Dolores Cannon has opened a doorway to the mysteries of our collective past. In her seminal work, The Convoluted Universe series, Cannon delves into the depths of human consciousness, exploring the interconnectedness of our souls across time and space. Intriguingly, Cannon's work suggests that our understanding of history may be but a mere fragment of a much grander narrative. According to Cannon, Ancient civilizations possessed a level of wisdom and knowledge far beyond our current comprehension. They were guardians of esoteric teachings, keepers of cosmic secrets, and stewards of a profound spiritual legacy that transcended the bounds of mortality. Could it be that the secrets of the pyramids, the mysteries of Machu Picchu, and the enigmas of Teotihuacan are but glimpses into this hidden realm of ancient wisdom? Is it possible that the true purpose of these monuments transcends mere architectural marvels, serving as beacons of enlightenment in an otherwise dark and tumultuous world? As we stand on the precipice of discovery, the quest for truth beckons us forward. With each excavation, each revelation, we inch closer to unraveling the mysteries that have eluded us for millennia. It is a journey fueled by curiosity, guided by intuition, and fueled by the unwavering belief that the past holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of our future. Even more intriguing discoveries emerge from core samples extracted from the blocks comprising the pyramid's majestic structure. In a surprising departure from the anticipated natural composition of limestone, these samples revealed a striking absence of typical laminations and fossils. Instead, they unveiled a remarkably uniform blend, interspersed with air bubbles, traces of insects, and even human hair, alongside chemical compounds rarely found in nature. These remarkable findings, stemming from a pioneering study conducted in 1989, cast doubt upon long-held assumptions about the origins of the pyramid's building materials. Could it be that the blocks were not simply hewn from quarried stone, but rather meticulously crafted through artificial means. Such a possibility challenges our understanding of ancient construction techniques and hints at a level of sophistication that defies conventional wisdom. Moreover, the pyramid's construction itself offers tantalizing clues to the ingenuity of its architects. Incorporating mathematical principles that align with the Earth's dimensions and celestial patterns the precision achieved in positioning the stones is nothing short of astounding. Achieving tolerances of less than one thousandth of an inch between stones and all without the use of mortar speaks volumes about the advanced engineering prowess of the civilization responsible for its creation. In a remarkable departure from traditional explanations, the narrative surrounding the construction of the Giza pyramids takes a dramatic turn towards the extraordinary. Instead of viewing them as mere products of quarrying and manual labor, emerging evidence suggests that these iconic structures may have been formed through techniques akin to those used in modern concrete production. The implications of these findings are profound, calling into question long-held assumptions about the capabilities of ancient civilizations. Were our ancestors far more technologically advanced than previously imagined? And if so, what other secrets lie waiting to be unearthed beneath the sands of time? As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the past, it becomes increasingly clear that our understanding of history is far from complete. 
Each new discovery brings us closer to unraveling the secrets of our ancestors and illuminating the path forward for humanity. The enigma of the Giza pyramids serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring power of human ingenuity. From the precision of their construction to the mysteries hidden within their walls, these ancient monuments continue to captivate and inspire us. As we continue to explore the mysteries of our past, let us remain open to the possibility that our ancestors were far more advanced than we ever imagined. And let us draw inspiration from their achievements as we strive to build a brighter future for generations to come. In a fascinating revelation stemming from studies conducted in the late 1980s, a whole new perspective has emerged on how the ancient Egyptians built their majestic pyramids, particularly those iconic structures gracing the Giza Plateau. What if I told you that the stones comprising these architectural wonders weren't just quarried and stacked, but instead underwent a transformation that defies conventional understanding? Picture this. The stones, originally sourced from nearby quarries, weren't simply cut and placed. They were meticulously pulverized, mixed with a binding agent, and then poured into molds right at the construction site. It's almost like they were baking giant, precision-made stone blocks right there in the desert. This innovative method, revealed by studies from the late 1980s, showcases a level of sophistication previously unattributed to ancient builders. Now let's pause and think about the implications of this mind-blowing discovery. We're talking about ancient Egyptians, thousands of years ago, employing techniques that parallel modern concrete production methods. It's like they were engineering wizards crafting structures with a precision that still astounds us today. This isn't just about building monuments, it's a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of our ancient ancestors. But hold on, it gets even more intriguing. You see, this revelation isn't just a fascinating tidbit for history buffs. It has far-reaching implications that extend into the geopolitical landscape of more recent times. Imagine this. Around the early 1990s, just before the Gulf War, there were concerns that Saddam Hussein might utilize this ancient yet cutting-edge technology to reinforce military bunkers. That's right, the same techniques used to build the pyramids could potentially be repurposed for modern warfare. It's a stark reminder of the enduring relevance and superiority of pyramid building techniques, which even modern construction methods struggle to match. Now let's shift our focus from the pyramids to their enigmatic neighbor, the Sphinx. While the pyramids may steal the spotlight, the Sphinx offers its own set of mysteries waiting to be uncovered. You see, there's something peculiar about the erosion patterns on its limestone body. Geologist Robert Schelker's analysis suggests that these erosion patterns weren't caused by wind or sand as previously thought. No, they're indicative of something far more intriguing, water flow. But here's the kicker. The type of erosion observed on the Sphinx's limestone body suggests a climate vastly different from the arid conditions of present-day Egypt. In fact, it points to a time when the region experienced much higher rainfall, around 12,000 years ago. That's long before the Sahara Desert as we know it today even existed. It's like a window into a distant past, challenging everything we thought we knew about the history of the region. So, what does all this mean? Well, for starters, it suggests that the story of ancient Egypt and indeed human civilization as a whole is far more complex and multifaceted than we ever imagined. It's a tale of innovation, adaptation and resilience, spanning thousands of years and encompassing a myriad of cultures and civilizations. But perhaps more importantly, it reminds us of the importance of questioning our assumptions and embracing the unknown. After all, it's only by venturing into uncharted territory that we can hope to uncover the secrets of our past and unlock the mysteries of our future. In the end, the pyramids and the Sphinx are more than just relics of a bygone era. They're symbols of human ambition and ingenuity, standing as testaments to what we can achieve when we dare to dream big. And as we continue to unravel their secrets, who knows what other wonders of the ancient world lie waiting to be discovered. The discovery, which has been rigorously scrutinized and documented in esteemed scientific journals, has sent shockwaves through the historical community. It's like a seismic shift in our understanding of the ancient world, suggesting that civilizations with profound knowledge may have flourished long before what we previously believed. You see, 
The traditional narrative surrounding the purpose of the pyramids has always centered on them being elaborate tombs for pharaohs. But here's the thing. Despite extensive exploration, there's a notable absence of inscriptions or human remains within these colossal structures. It's a puzzling conundrum that hints at a deeper, more intricate purpose for the pyramids, one that eludes our grasp and challenges the very foundations of our understanding. This paradoxical observation leaves us scratching our heads and pondering the possibility of a lost knowledge or technique, one that allowed ancient civilizations to achieve feats of engineering and construction far beyond what we previously thought possible. It's as if there's a hidden chapter in the story of human history waiting to be unearthed and decoded. Now let's talk about the Sphinx, that enigmatic guardian of the Giza Plateau. Recent studies have revealed evidence of water erosion on its limestone body, indicating that it may have been sculpted by the elements over 12,000 to 13,000 years ago. This flies in the face of conventional wisdom, which placed the Sphinx's creation much later in history. But here's where things get really interesting. This discovery, coupled with evidence from other archaeological sites that predate known civilizations, supports the notion of civilization's cyclical nature. Instead of a linear progression from primitive to advanced societies, it suggests that human history is marked by ebbs and flows, periods of enlightenment followed by catastrophic losses and gradual rediscoveries. And then there's the tantalizing revelation of ancient structures in Antarctica. Thanks to recent ice melts, these structures, dating back a staggering 20,000 years, have come into view. Just let that sink in for a moment. Ancient civilizations, thousands of years before what we previously thought possible, erecting monuments in one of the most inhospitable environments on Earth. It's a game changer that challenges everything we thought we knew about early human capability and global exploration. So, what does all this mean for us? Well, for starters, it invites us to question the narratives we've been taught and to approach history with a sense of curiosity and open-mindedness. It's a reminder that our understanding of the past is constantly evolving, shaped by new discoveries and reinterpretations of existing evidence. But perhaps more importantly, it reminds us of the resilience of the human spirit. Despite facing countless obstacles and setbacks, our ancestors persevered, leaving behind a legacy of innovation and ingenuity that continues to inspire us today. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the ancient world, one thing becomes abundantly clear. There's still so much left to discover. And with each new revelation, we inch closer to unraveling the secrets of our past and unlocking the mysteries of our future. So let's embrace the journey, eager to explore the unknown and uncover the wonders that lie hidden beneath the sands of time. The breathtaking discoveries, coupled with other astonishing prehistoric sites, like the submerged city in the Gulf of Kambe and Gobekli Tepe, paint a vivid picture of what lies beyond the veil of conventional history. They hint at the existence of sophisticated societies stretching back into the distant past, far beyond what we ever imagined. Imagine a mosaic of ancient civilizations, each one adding its own unique thread to the rich tapestry of human history. It's like peeling back the layers of time and uncovering a world that challenges our preconceived notions of progress and development. These discoveries beckon us to reimagine the origins and capabilities of our ancestors inviting us to embark on a journey of exploration and discovery. What if the story of human history isn't just a straight line, but a complex web of interconnected civilizations rising and falling over millennia? What if the dawn of civilization wasn't a singular event, but rather a cyclical phenomenon marked by periods of advancement and decline? These are the questions that these ancient sites compel us to ponder, urging us to reconsider the narrative of human progress as we know it. Now let's zoom in on the Giza pyramids, those iconic symbols of ancient ingenuity and architectural mastery. Recent revelations suggest that their construction may have been far more sophisticated than previously believed. Instead of simply quarrying and stacking stone blocks, it's now proposed that a mixture of pulverized limestone and advanced epoxy was used to create these monumental structures. Just imagine the precision required to engineer such a feat. It's as if the ancient builders possessed a level of knowledge and skill that defies comprehension. 
This innovative construction method not only challenges our understanding of ancient engineering, but also sheds light on the capabilities of civilizations long vanished. It's a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of our ancestors, showcasing their ability to harness the natural world to achieve extraordinary feats. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of these ancient sites, we are reminded of the remarkable ingenuity and resilience of our ancestors. Despite the passage of time, their achievements continue to inspire awe and wonder, prompting us to rethink our place within the vast tapestry of human history. So what does all this mean for us today? Well, for starters, it invites us to adopt a more nuanced understanding of human progress. Instead of viewing history as a linear march towards civilization, we are encouraged to embrace the idea of cyclical patterns, where periods of advancement are followed by periods of decline and rebirth. But perhaps more importantly, it reminds us of the importance of preserving and protecting our cultural heritage. These ancient sites are not just relics of the past, they are windows into our collective history, offering insights into the triumphs and challenges faced by our ancestors. By studying and preserving these sites, we ensure that their stories continue to be told for generations to come. In the end, the exploration of ancient civilizations is not just a journey into the past, it's a journey of self-discovery, prompting us to reflect on our place within the grand tapestry of human history. And as we continue to uncover the secrets of our ancestors, we are reminded of the enduring legacy of innovation and resilience that defines the human spirit. Amidst the swirl of discussions and discoveries, there's a tantalizing whisper of potential lurking in the most unexpected of places, Antarctica. Some suggest that hidden within its icy depths lie remnants of advanced civilizations, harboring technologies that could hold the key to solving some of our most pressing modern challenges. Imagine tapping into free energy or uncovering revolutionary technologies long kept under wraps due to our current economic structures. It's like stumbling upon a treasure trove of wisdom hidden in plain sight, waiting for us to uncover its secrets. But as we stand at this critical crossroads of history, it's essential to pause and reflect on the values that define us and the future we aspire to create. Are we willing to embrace the wisdom of the ancients, recognizing that their knowledge may hold the answers we seek? Or are we content to continue down the path of technological advancement, regardless of the potential consequences. What's fascinating is that the answers to many of our modern challenges may lie within ourselves. Our own biology is a marvel, equipped with capabilities far beyond what we often realize. Enhanced immunity, cognition, memory, and learning. These are just a few of the remarkable traits inherent in our species. And yet in our quest for progress, we often overlook the incredible potential that lies within us instead turning to external devices and substances to augment our abilities. But here's the thing. We stand at a pivotal moment in human evolution, where the choices we make today will shape the course of our future. Do we continue down the path of technological dependence, risking the loss of our humanity in the process? Or do we choose to embrace and preserve our intrinsic qualities and freedoms, ensuring that we remain true to ourselves as we navigate the challenges of the modern world. It's not just a theoretical debate. It's a reality that's unfolding before our very eyes. The rapid pace of technological advancement has brought us to a tipping point where we must confront the possibility of becoming a hybrid species, part human, part machine. And yet, amidst the allure of technological enhancement, we must not forget the essence of what it means to be human, our emotions, our memories, our connections to each other and the world around us. This is where the discourse surrounding ancient civilizations becomes crucial. By rediscovering and re-examining the achievements of our ancestors, we gain insights into our own history and the potential pitfalls that lie ahead. It's a reminder that human progress is not always linear. It's marked by highs and lows, advancements and setbacks. And if we fail to learn from the mistakes of the past, we risk repeating them in the future. So as we stand at this crossroads of history, let us not forget the lessons of the past. Let us honor the wisdom of the ancients and recognize the incredible potential that lies within each and every one of us.
and let us choose a path that leads us towards a future where humanity, in all its richness and diversity, remains at the forefront of our endeavors. For in the end, it is not the technology we possess that defines us, but the values and principles that guide our actions and shape our destiny. Delving into the depths of ancient wisdom and technology not only challenges the narratives of our past, but also illuminates pathways to sustainable and advanced societal structures that once flourished. It's like peering through a window into the past, gaining valuable insights that can guide us through the complexities of our present-day challenges. As we reflect on the triumphs and tribulations of past civilizations, we uncover timeless principles and values that have stood the test of time. These principles, rooted in cooperation, empathy and stewardship of the earth, provide a blueprint for building resilient communities and thriving societies. By embracing these values and learning from the successes and failures of our ancestors, we can chart a course towards a future that honours our humanity and ensures the well-being of future generations. But this discussion goes beyond mere academic curiosity. It delves into the very essence of our existence, at its core lies the age-old debate over divinity and spirituality, questions that have puzzled humanity for centuries. Yet beyond religious interpretations lies a deeper inquiry into our capacity to transcend our perceived limitations and unlock the full potential of our being. In a world increasingly dominated by technology and artificial intelligence, it's easy to lose sight of what it means to be human. The allure of technological advancements threatens to overshadow our innate qualities our ability to love, to connect, to empathize. And yet it is precisely these qualities that define us as human beings, distinguishing us from the machines we create. So as we stand at this crossroads of history, let us not forget the essence of our humanity. Let us reclaim our connection to the earth and to each other, drawing strength from the wisdom of the past as we navigate the challenges of the present and shape the destiny of our future. In doing so, we honor the legacy of our ancestors and ensure that their sacrifices and achievements are not forgotten. We recognize that our collective journey is intertwined with theirs and that by learning from their triumphs and failures, we can forge a path towards a more just, equitable and sustainable world. As we embark on this journey, let us remember that the power to shape our destiny lies within each and every one of us. It is in our hands to choose the path of wisdom, compassion and unity. The path that leads us towards a future where humanity thrives in harmony with the earth and with each other. So let us embrace the lessons of the past, honor the wisdom of our ancestors and chart a course towards a future that reflects the best of what it means to be human. For in the end, it is not the technology we possess or the advancements we achieve that define us, but the values and principles that guide our actions and shape our legacy for generations to come. In this pivotal moment of human history, we find ourselves at a crossroads where the very essence of what it means to be human hangs in the balance. The decisions we make today will reverberate through generations, shaping the trajectory of our evolution and the course of our collective destiny. What if I told you that our understanding of communication goes beyond mere words, transcending into the realm of an energetic field that binds all living beings together. It's like tapping into a universal language where our intuition and instincts serve as guides, navigating us through the intricate web of existence. Think of our DNA not just as a biological blueprint, but as a finely tuned antenna receiving and transmitting signals from this vast cosmic network. It's what allows us to experience those moments of profound connection during prayer or meditation tapping into a source of wisdom that transcends the boundaries of the material world. But here's the thing. As we delve deeper into the realm of technological advancement, there's a risk that we may sever this intrinsic connection, opting instead for synthetic enhancements that offer immediate benefits but come at a profound cost. Take cloning, for example. While it may seem like a marvel of modern science, the reality is far more complex. The challenges and ethical dilemmas posed by cloning technology from premature aging to unexpected diseases in cloned animals like Dolly the sheep, underscore a fundamental truth. Our biology is intricately intertwined with the natural world around us. Attempting to replace our biological essence 
with artificial substitutes disrupts this delicate balance, leaving us adrift in a sea of synthetic enhancements with little connection to our spiritual and intuitive selves. As we stand at this critical juncture, we must ask ourselves, are we willing to sacrifice our deeper connection to the cosmos for the sake of technological progress? Is the promise of enhanced physical capabilities worth the loss of our spiritual potential and access to a broader consciousness? It's a choice that demands careful consideration, for the path we choose will shape not only our own future, but the destiny of humanity as a whole. Do we embrace technological augmentation, trading our innate humanity for the allure of synthetic enhancements? Or do we honor the wisdom of our ancestors, recognizing that our true power lies in our ability to connect with the natural world and tap into the boundless reservoir of energy that surrounds us? Think about it. As biological beings, we possess a remarkable capacity for adaptation and growth that sets us apart from any artificial technology. It's like we're equipped with an innate superpower, our cells and neurons working together in perfect harmony, orchestrating complex processes like thought, emotion and focus with incredible precision. Our ancestors understood this inherent gift, describing it as an advanced technology within us long before modern science began to catch up. It's like they had an intuitive understanding of our true potential, a wisdom that we're only beginning to grasp today. Take cloning, for instance. While it may seem like a triumph of modern science, it serves as a stark reminder of the importance of embracing a holistic understanding of life. Our biological essence is intertwined with the very fabric of existence with each cell and neuron playing a vital role in the intricate dance of life. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of life, it's essential that science remains open to these concepts, recognizing that the true secrets of existence lie not in silicon chips or synthetic enhancements, but in the inherent wisdom encoded within our DNA. So, as we embark on this journey of exploration and discovery, let's not forget to marvel at the incredible complexity and beauty of life. Let's cherish and preserve the natural gifts that define our humanity, ensuring that future generations inherit a world rich in both technological innovation and the timeless wisdom of our biological heritage.